Hello and welcome to my channel where you can find my beautiful burlesque videos to inspire your feminine sensual embodiment, your artistic embodiment, your abundant leadership embodiment, as well as my spiritual journey and uh, nourishing thoughts for your body, mind and soul, for the empowerment of your entire being. And today, so I'm very excited and I'm really happy to have you here. Today I want to um, share with you ways to connect to your soul and how it empowers your life. So if you've been thinking um, of um, that you were wishing to know more about your soul, the uniqueness of your soul, or to connect, to further connect to your soul and therefore feel more empowered, then this video is for you. So the first thing that I um, invite you uh, the first way that I want to share with you to further connect to your soul is to breathe. Breathe slowly, slowly and all the way down to your root chakra. Let's do a few deep breaths together. and become present through your breath. Really feel yourself seated. You can be seated in a lotus seat on the ground or on a chair or sofa. You can inhale deeply and exhale through your mouth sound. This will calm your nervous system and further bring you into your body. As your body is the temple of your soul. Therefore, the more you're connected to your body, the more you're connected to your soul. Also, during the day, if you can remember, remind yourself gently every now and then to be connected with your breath. It makes you feel calm. And present. which brings you further authenticity and connection to your true self, your soul. Yes, then I wrote, oops, I did it again. <laughs> Do it over and over and over. So the breath and the feeling really calm and connected. To your breath and your breath helps you. Number three, as two was the, the um, to do it over and over, connecting to your breath and staying connected. Of course you can also do breath work, there are many beautiful videos on YouTube. Breath also helps you to bring awareness to that you are receiving and that you are letting go. So that you are in a constant flow of giving and receiving. It deepens that awareness too, which is also an important awareness for your soul to be deeper connecting, to be deeper connected to um, 
the identity of your soul and that which empowers your life and your work. Number three is committing to changing your habits through creating space to connect to your body regularly in a mindful meditative way. So this is, um, let's talk about the changing your habit. You, maybe you already have this habit that you do something I would say regularly is at least once a week, something that is mindful and meditative and it includes your body. So this can be meditation, if that is what inspires you. This can be going for a walk. This can be also um, doing a yoga stretch, Pilates, dance. And um, committing to doing this. And if you don't have a habit uh, like that, then how do you change your habits? Um, how do you commit? Well, you change your habits through committing, right? So through taking that decision. And I know you can do this, right? Your soul is so beautiful and unique and it is so empowering. All of your messages, your true messages, all of your true inner peace, all of your your heart opening, all of your creativity lies and comes from within your soul. It is the divine that runs through you and each of us has a unique soul and this doesn't mean you have to be perfect and it doesn't mean you have to be better like that we are unique and I'm so, you know, I'm, I'm better. It's just a fact, it's just a universal, universal fact that you are unique, that is, mm, I am unique, my message is unique and therefore we learn from each other, we grow and we expand and your love, your love gets transmitted through expressing your soul. So what is the highest form what is the greatest way to express your love through your soul what is the greatest way to express your love through your soul and these the ways that you will know this the ways that you will be connecting yourself and expanding into that soul leadership is through like i said the breathing the breath and then to a habit that is a regular, mindful, meditative, physical exercise, right? Uh, if you can do this several times a week in the mornings, it's really good because we're always fresh, our mind is fresh, your channel is receptive. And there, it, it, this is, the, this is a, a really good way to start your day and to... Um, um, form and transform and become yourself right step by step so please take it easy and allow the step by steps and also for commitment you can have accountability partners or work with coaches um, for example you can work with me one-on-one -on -one in I give coachings I have a beautiful um, package that you can book one-on-one -on -one readings activations for um, your soul embodiment and for your yeah for your soul leadership and the wealth that it brings so um, feel free to reach out for the prices for if you desire to be supported individually um, on this journey, on this beautiful journey by me. 
Number four is listen to the message in your heart. Uh, find ways also to express that message, for example, through journaling. Um, also, again, this is done in the morning. This is my journal. I just got this one. I love this one. Uh, has this beautiful snake dragon kind of cover, white and gold. A journal and there you can write down the message of your heart again which will also the regularity in there now my experience is um, some people do have this very strong willpower and they can change their own habits it takes also creativity for some people and if you have support on it someone that calls you out, someone that checks in and that holds you accountable, then it's, it's, it's helpful. Me personally, I have worked with coaches in order to change my habits or I am part of groups, right? And I have so, I have invested in myself. And um, what I've learned from that, what I want to share here, for free because I want you to take away as much as possible um, as much inspiration for your beautiful soul connection and how it empowers your life uh, is um, yes that you can uh, you know you can come back to watch this video to be reminded right I am your reminder um, yeah, so what I want to tell you is to take it slow. One trick, if you are not working with a coach, if you don't, if you're not going, want to book me one-on-one, -on -one, uh, but of course, I'll be happy. I'd be absolutely happy to support you and to guide you and to further inspire you and, uh, and really have you, yeah, share all these beautiful... Um, tools and juices that I um, gained from from this work that I am doing my creative embodiment work the feminine embodiment work and the spiritual embodiment work since over 15 years right so it will definitely save you time not that everything has to be fast no actually slow is better but it is just um, deeper and it is just more um, there's just more essence that I can transmit and that you can that you are able right it's just clever it's just clever to learn and to be guided from others right to learn from those that have already that are specialized in this and uh, so therefore they you can pick this up you can you know flow into it you can open up easier you know and it's just more much much more fun to to have someone you know to um to have someone that inspires you that helps you to expand and reach these dreams you know these um soul embodiment dreams so listen receive your message, or the message from your heart, receive all with compassion, not love. All the messages from your heart have a, um, a meaning and they look at them like a gift and receive them like your own loving mother and father with curiosity and look at them like they are a gift. And the more peace we can embody through the breath and through mindful physical practice and through true presence in and true communication with ourselves and our higher self which is your soul and uh, uh, writing is um, a powerful powerful way to do this um, the more you do this the more you will um, understand yourself you the more you will know 
your soul, the more you will know yourself, the more you will feel, feel fulfilled, the more energy you will have. Because when you live, it is, you know, to be connected and to live from your soul and from your true message is where there is the most flow. Whereas when you serve others or when you um, follow other pers another person's expression of their soul, which is mostly expressed in creativity, also in a loving way, right, or in business, then this can be beautiful too, particularly if you really feel aligned. So, but, but, but if you don't feel aligned, so it, then particularly there is like dissonance and resistance and you lose vitality and energy <clears throat> um, through doing that. And this is why for me this message or this embodiment has been so life-changing. And for me it came a lot through, um, through my creativity, through really fully committing to my creativity and to uh, my creative um, output and expression and journey and um, and I think uh, really I can say one important thing is the full in right even though if you don't if you don't feel that you're already on this path of fully being committing to uh, fully embodying your creative soul and your self-empowerment and living your entire life and relationships and the work you, you create um, through, with this, through that, based on that, uh, if you don't have this already, then it, it, it's not possible to jump, yeah, it's not, excuse me, it's not possible to, to jump from, I'm just starting uh, I am sometimes and then not the fall in. It's not. It's it is a process that can have quantum leaps, but it is a growth. It's like a plant. Yeah, you are like these beautiful roses, right? They grow. They also they bloom. Yeah, they bloom with care, not with speed but also with support. That is why that is why I've loved working with coaches and that is why I love working with you. So you can drop me a message and ask me for my special packages to unfold, to have you, your, your full soul bloom, right? Um, to guide you to your full blooms, full soul bloom <laughs> I like that and um, to which which, in, which automatically shifts you know which automatically has you uh, have you has you growing as a leader and obviously as you've noticed a feminine leader because th this is who I am this is what my soul is about and this is the space that I hold and this is what I act um, a feminine leader and an abundant leader, right? abundance, right, which comes then with um, prosperity in all ways, in all parts of your life. Yeah, so fully embracing your body, of course, this is an important part, no matter what shape, no matter no matter fully embracing your body as it is the temple of your soul so uh, a part of this and uh, one way to connect to your soul um, and allow it to empower you is to fully embrace your body and these practices as i said they will help you right drop by drop bit by bit uh, 
Let me see what, because uh, I channeled this the other day and I loved it. It was just like so clear. So I told myself uh, in general, when I go live and I freely talk, I freely channel, which is beautiful. But there I enjoyed channeling this and um, sharing these, this beautiful inspiration with you. Yes, taking action. For now, this is the most important because the, you know, embodying your soul will bring, automatically bring with itself um, um, you taking actions. Your action taking will shift automatically. But of course, there is a whole, um, yeah, I do have advice on taking action uh, based on your soul but I feel I want to keep it really spacious right yeah you see this is where then my soul says again you can call it also your intuition yeah it is too ground again grounding also grounding I give uh, morning yoga stretch classes at the beach and they are my grounding exercises they are my grounding practice my grounding has, has become so much stronger uh, another thing that comes through right now are emotions to allow and observe your emotions and to allow also take time so it's a little bit to regularly take time and space create space Base, right um, feel your emotions and let them flow particularly the ones that we carry sometimes judgments tears anger frustration just let them sit with them in this when you are doing your meditative practice on a walk or sitting or when you journal these are great ways to fully allow your emotions because allowing them because they are energy in motion you will ground right you will stay clear or you will further clear your channel because this is also what it is about as I said our body is the temple of our soul and we are a, a channel so the more we clear this channel the more we our soul can work through us yeah our soul can spread the love and the high vibes through um, our bodies, right? And through the tools that we have, our voice, our our movements. My medicine is dance. I uh, became a professional burlesque dancer and it is the full embodiment of my inner goddess and so much pleasure and so much divine love, feminine love and creativity. And so here comes uh, what I wanted to share with you too, is the creativity. Um, I would invite you to, to, to um, also integrate moments and space of where you experiment even if you're highly creative because I still do this so even if you already um, if you already uh, you know I would say even if you are a professional creative if you are here then this is for a reason if you're watching this video then this is for a reason this is because uh, the universe brings you a, a different uh, puzzle of connecting to your soul right a deeper message maybe to deepen your your soul embodiment a different aspect maybe the feminine the sensual aspect of uh, integrating your soul right and so even if you are a creative professional, I invite you to create space to play, to play with your creativity. And it can be very simple, childlike kind of creative things, things you've never done, things that, you know, they um, are a new experience in any area that maybe you haven't done that. So it doesn't have to be. I think mean, it's important to open up that other you know another 
view on your own creativity so to largen that um, experience uh, and that embodiment of your beautiful unique soul um, it needs freedom and freedom comes from that open space from that nothingness from that either a spontaneous thing that you participate or a spontaneous uh, impulse that you have to use colors to use materials to approach cooking to feel into your body to express your body right to dance that dancing that you're you know ways that you haven't done movements listening to music and you know imagining you are and here comes the breath again things shifting you know mm, breath is also creative right so i invite you to do this and um, come back to this video to have a loving reminder um, And then I wrote here, I yeah, because I said how it empowers your life. Well, I think, I think this is clear. So it's interesting because I wasn't sure how long this video is going to last. We are twenty six minutes. Um, how it empowers your life. I already mentioned that, so I included it during the video, right? The the how much peace it brings, and peace is harmony and peace is beauty and peace is clarity and uh, authenticity and focus right how much energy gets set free and how much focus uh, you will have and how vital how vital you will feel so through committing to this and also how it empowers your life and um, your entire life and your work is that it will bring meaning probably this is the most uh, fundamental right it will bring meaning to you and meaning a deeper meaning to your life your existence why you're here and what makes you unique and infinitely lovable and worthy now this is the ultimate empowerment in itself well i hope you found this inspiring and you loved watching this um, if you did please um, hit the subscribe button to this channel I will be sharing um, further videos um, I'd say twice a month from now on and um, uh, yeah hit the subscribe button and the like button and also in the comments uh, this is a community a blooming community a blooming soul community so um, connect support share your progress ask questions in the comments below and i see you in the next video i love you